So Zakaria alayhi salam was so happy, but he was embarrassed at the same time for the reason that they were old. What am I going to tell the people? Now, obviously, we're taught that we shouldn't worry about what people say. But human nature is such that somewhere within you, there is a small concern about your reputation, perhaps, perhaps about what people close to you may or may not say. But because of this, Zakaria alayhi salatu was salam asked for a sign. Qala rabbi ja'alli ayah. Qala ayatuka alla tukallima nasa thalatha layalin sawiyya. He says, O oh my Lord, grant me a sign. Allah Almighty says, Your sign is that you shouldn't speak to people for three nights. In another verse for three days. So three days, three nights. Don't speak to the people. You know, subhanAllah, Allah will assist, Allah will guide, Allah will answer, Allah will clarify. You do not need to do that. So sometimes these things happen. That was verse number 10 of Surah Maryam where he asked for a sign. Sometimes the problem is too big. It requires silence from us. We shouldn't be speaking too much. We should perhaps leave it to Allah. Try, maybe, and then if the matter is too big, remain silent. So while we're talking about children and having children, this is another lesson that we learn as we reconnect with Revelation to say, at times, it's okay what people think. Never mind. The good will think good. The bad will always think bad. But those in the middle, Allah will grant them clarity over time. In that case, it was three days, three nights. In your case and mine, it might be longer than that. Who knows? But if you're a good person, time will tell that you're actually a good person. People who accuse you of something, Allah Almighty will clear your name over time. They will realize they were wrong if they were good. But if they were bad, they would never believe you even if they saw it in front of their eyes that you were a good person. So don't worry. We have to please Allah, not people. But in the interim, Allah Almighty will make people pleased with us if we have pleased him. That is a narration of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He says, whoever pleases Allah and in the process earns the displeasure of the people, Allah becomes pleased with that person. And over time, Allah makes the people pleased with that person too. But whoever displeases Allah, in order to achieve the pleasure of people, Allah is displeased with that person and very soon over time, even the same people who were pleased with him or her will be displeased.